So let me tell you what's happening tonight. Spring is almost here. The last week was beautiful weather, warm temperatures and apparently tonight, next night and the next three nights are supposed to be clear. The Big Dipper is rising up again. But I'm afraid for galaxy season this small thing right here isn't gonna help very much. So let me break this down and get the big telescope out. Because this will be the pinwheel galaxy. Now this small telescope is definitely not enough for galaxy season. The pinwheel galaxy is not that small, but let me just screw this off. The pinwheel galaxy is not that small, but if we compare it to Andromeda galaxy, for example, it is rather small. But if we compare it to the galaxies in Leo or maybe the Whirlpool galaxy, it is a rather big galaxy. So I will take this scope here apart, take the vital parts off that I need to image with the big telescope. Now I hope I can take this out. I can, perfect. I won't need this one. Let's get this going. Alright. The big scope for the night. You can already maybe see in the back there. 450 millimeters will not be enough. Beautiful. Now we have all these different parts and the thing we want to do is to get this camera on the back of this focuser right here. 2 inch to M84 adapter. Telescope 2 inch tension ring. Even though galaxies shine broadband, there is no way I'm gonna get around a light pollution filter. Welcome the Starizona filter drawer. Now this telescope here is a triplet. It has good color correction, but the field curvature at the edges is still quite annoying. And that is why I have my field flattener right here. The extension tube that was delivered with the field flattener. It has an adapter ring on it, this small outer ring right here. 42 to M48 adapter. And just to get the right distance, I have more adapters right here that get it right back to the M42 of the camera. This is the proper distance of 111. Plus minus 2 millimeters, I think, but that's not a problem. And we got ourselves a perfect telescope for galaxy season. Tomorrow night, definitely clear, the forecast is great and I believe I believe it for the first time actually in a few months that it holds its promise. So let's get this thing out tonight. Night 2. Yesterday was a perfect night. I gathered lots of good subs. And now for the second night my plan is I want to shoot two nights of RGB and one night of narrowband. So this narrowband will be H803 through the tri narrowband filter. And maybe And even if I get only the HA signal I think the result will be pretty neat. The telescope is set up, it's polar aligned, but the software isn't set up yet and I think we will go through that right now. Follow me. All right, APT and PHD are already started. We have APT here. The camera is connected and I already slowed with plate solving with point craft to the double star in the Big Dipper. PHD is also running. You can see the double star here. The one second exposures are looping. And I want to focus on that star right now. I've had that issue yesterday. Why is it so blurry? 
Is it because it's a double star? But the the other star is way too far away right now. Maybe it's the street light, I don't know. I didn't touch the scope at all right now and it's still pretty blurry. Let me choose a different star for that one. Let's go. If any one of you doesn't know why this weird error occurs, please tell me. Dube, here we go. Nice. Alright, the focus seems actually pretty good. Let me wait for another exposure. Let's move to our target for the night. Focusing is done. M101, the pinwheel galaxy. Go to yes. 423 pixels off. So it's actually it's it is actually in the image right now, but it's very hard to see in a five second exposure. I think this is the star field I know. It should be right in, right down here. 3.2 holy shit, isn't it? That's awesome. It's gonna get a bit worse if I switch to two second exposure, so which I'm gonna do right now because the tracking is more stable. 3.3, nice. Success. You can see the center may be a tiny bit here, in, behind the crosshair actually. Let's start the auto guiding. It should be still calibrated from yesterday, and it looks. Come on, come on. Huh? Awesome. For me, this is a perfect graph. This looks amazing. Uh, I didn't say anything. The hell? Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> People. That's how good you can pull a line with an HQ5. This is amazing. Alright. Focusing is done. Auto getting is running. Camera is cooled. 5 minute light frames. Night 2. Start. I'm gonna wait with you here these 5 minutes. And let's check that frame. Come on, dude, right. Here we go. That's the pinwheel wheel in there. The one I know and love. But let's go inside now. 